Hello, hello. Hang with me for a second. I'm right here. And I really hope that you guys can hear me. Uh, just uh, oh, oh, oh. Um, well, I'm here. Uh, ooh. <laughs> and I am keeping up to our traditions of starting the live stream. Uh, not quite right. Um, I'm just trying to get our chat up right now so I can see you guys before I start talking. Um, so just hang up for a second. See where you guys are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and pop out that chat. So I know. There you go. That wasn't so hard. Now I hope you guys can hear me. If you can, just say something. Uh, so hi and hello. Uh, uh, today is uh, Friday Night Lights with live with Pusha Studios, and I'm very happy to have you on and so many of you right on here uh for those of you who just came in uh just a quick uh, note we're gonna have an amazing guest tonight uh who's your uh channel uh which is a father and uh three kids amazing family and we're gonna have an oldest daughter and father on tonight talking about their adventures and how are they documenting their adventures on youtube and what do they do besides youtube because that's what this live stream is all about is to get up and close and personal with uh, people behind the channels um, to get to know more about them uh, so maybe you would want to stick around more and um, get to know Jose or but for now, we're gonna check out who is in here and let some more people come in before we invite our guest. And uh, let me see who is in. Oh, guys, you can hear me. That's great. Yay, I have a mic on. That's right. <laughs> uh, I remembered that. Um, now, as you can see, there we have Alien6467. Hello, Beauty and the Bird. Hello, Joey. Hi, nice to see you. I'm very happy you chose uh, us for your one side of the balance tonight. Uh, Irvin the Peach Tourist, hello. Uh, where are you at now? Are you on the road? Uh, and welcome, Jose Bako D is in the chat and he or they are going to be our guests tonight. So warm welcome to them. Uh, Christy K9, hello and welcome to our channel. Patsy, amazing Patsy was on yesterday and it was so amazing. Everybody loves Patsy. Uh, if you uh, love deep messages in the video, uh, if you are curious who is behind Patsy Houlihan, you want to go and check it out. I think we managed uh, to know not just a little bit more about uh, Patsy, the puppet, but we also managed to know a little bit more about the human behind it. So uh, if you would like to know uh, more about that uh, after this stream, you can go to yesterday's and check that out for free fun. 
And T Strong is in here. Hello. And Terrell Emerson TV, which is our, uh, I would say, uh, first mod um, in here and still here. We're very happy to see. Um, now, it is family friendly. Uh, we're going to have a nice family on talking about family, family adventures, documenting family, everyday life. Uh, a really nice family. I'm so excited to have them on. So definitely stick around. It is family friendly. You can watch it with kids. Don't have to worry about it. And uh, most likely we're not going to go into adult swim tonight uh, because as you have noticed, it's only me here. It's only one. Uh, for those of you who are first time on this channel, uh, usually there are two of us. As you can see in this beautiful doodle, uh, made doodle by Doug. Uh, there is me, <laughs> usually on this side of the couch, and there is Andrew, my husband and uh, um, friend <laughs> and co-host of uh, OSHA Studios live stream. But tonight it's only me. Andrew had to step out for a family emergency and uh, life first, as we usually say. Uh, and life first happens to us too. So. He is dealing with a family emergency right now, and I am here with you. Um, that's why there are two of us. That's the good part about it. I can stick around with you guys, and uh, I hope I don't disappoint you uh, because it's only me here. So um, I hope you can support me too. I'm quite nervous when I'm alone on, on the camera because I, I'm i not really sure what I'm doing. Uh, I'm mostly... I'm, as much as I'm part of the interview or, or chat with the guests as well, and I love it, but I am pretty much a lot involved with uh, interacting with people in the chat while we do that. So tonight I'm going to try and do both, but don't get too upset if I can't answer uh, each of you as I usually do, because there's only me here uh, tonight. Uh, also, if you have any questions during our chat with our guests, uh, don't uh, be shy and uh, drop a question in the chat box. Uh, per it would be perfectly great if you could put at Pusha Studios at the beginning of your question. So then it colors orange for me and I can see it. And if I don't see it, just keep posting it till I notice it. <laughs> Say, Xenia, you haven't noticed me uh, till I see it, okay? Uh, so thank you very much for being here. And uh, Nathan, Nathan just came in. Um, yeah. Um, and there are some more people that I think are hiding behind because I don't see them on the chat, but that's okay. Some of us are more shy uh, than others. Uh, stick around and see uh, what, uh, what you can watch here. And maybe after a while, uh, you can say hi. At least say hi. If you don't have time chatting, just say hi. So, uh, guys, how was your day today? Today is Friday. Uh, it's the end of the week. Uh, some of us can probably say, finally, right? Uh, so, uh, how was your day? I was very busy today uh, uh, getting some work done, some pictures down. It's Mother's Day coming, so I want to get some uh, orders done uh, for one very special mother for Mother's Day on Sunday. Uh, do you have anything planned for your mother? And if you have a wife and a good, or a girlfriend that has kids, do you celebrate Mother's Day with her or with your mother? Uh, how do you do the Mother's Day celebration at your house? I'm curious to know. I know that some people uh, don't think that they should celebrate it with, uh, or at least congratulate their uh, wife or, or girlfriend um, because it's their, their Mother's Day. But I think it's a day for everybody who has kids. Um, some might be adopted, some might be their own, some might be their godmothers. I think it is just a general uh, day for showing love and caring for those who care about you. Uh, every day is Mother's Day. Well, that's what I say about Valentine's Day because uh, lots of people usually say, but oh, Valentine's Day, you know, uh, who is Valentine's Day with all the commercial stuff with chocolate candies and flowers and all that, always just only for women. And I don't believe that. I, I think it's 
just one more day to celebrate love and to pay that extra attention to your loved one. And just because there is no Valentine's Day, this doesn't mean that you can't do it all the other days of the year. Um, it's just a special day, the same as Mother's Day, it's a special day, the same as your, each of you guys' birthday is a special day. So it's nothing wrong with uh, celebrations. If there is something to celebrate, you should. Um, because we should uh, share the positive love um, and hope that it multiplies in this world of ours. Um, Marcel Harding, hi, hello, um, my <laughs> better half. Well, um, yes, I'm sure bottle caps could disagree with you, uh, and I'm sure he's not going to come in since only me here. Um, but thank you for the compliment. And by the way, I received your beautiful pictures of your beautiful paintings. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Marcel uh, is an amazing painter. It's so realistic and so gorgeous. Um, okay, Joey, stick around. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, best friend. Yes, thank you. Hi, Stephanie. I know she can't hear me, so I'm just going to say hi, Steph. <laughs> she's at work and she's supporting us through work too. Um, yeah. So, well, if nobody wants to talk about Mother's Day, everybody's so shy. Let me see. Let me see if I can find. Oh, there you are. There you are. Okay, so I'm going to go now and try and do Let me not let me not close something that I shouldn't be closing. Let me see where our guests are. Okay. And while I'm trying to get the link out for our guests, uh, if you haven't pushed that uh, like button, go ahead and press it. And if you haven't shared it, share it out the more the merrier. Uh, support me in my venture of single live streaming. <laughs> uh, you're, I'm so used to doing it to the two of us that, that it's, it's really, oh. <laughs> So support me in, in my venture of being just here uh, alone now and, and tweet it out, the more the merrier. The more questions you can bump into that chat, the better. Uh, help me out, uh, be our host as well. Uh, the show is made not only by us here or me in this instance, but by you guys as well. So um, I hope you can really join in. Uh, okay, so now let me see if I, I fingers crossed it all works. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see. Now. Now I'm going back to the chat and hope that link is working. Thank you, beauty. Thank you so much. Uh Thank you. Uh, best friend in the thread is working. Working hard or hardly working. Oh, she's working. She's working late days and long weeks. So I'm um, just joking. But it's so funny. And uh, Hosier, I just sent you a link in Twitter. So if uh, if you can join us anytime is good. Uh, the Good Cell Life, hi and hello. Uh, I received your message too. I got it. <clears throat> I will answer it. Uh, yes, Batsy had a fun night last night. Said, hello, seven blessings. So thank you for coming in. Uh, Patsy had an amazing night and, and we had an amazing night too. It's so, it's so amazing. Patsy's work is so uh, intricate to, to put, as I was saying yesterday, to be able to, <clears throat> excuse me to be able to put together um something that it fits for kids and for adults as well okay yay i can see you <laughs> now i can see you. there <laughs> we're trying here 
Perfect. Now I can see you. Thank you so much for coming in, and I'm so glad it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Because Andrew usually is the technical one, so if it wouldn't work, I'm, I would like, oh my god, what to do? <laughs> 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 so I was silently wishing it would all go through well, and, and uh, thanks God it is. Uh, thank you so much for being our guest tonight. Yes, we're honored. Um, well, uh, for those of, uh, of, uh, <laughs> for those of uh, people who are in the chat that don't know anything about you or see you the first time, although I, I think majority have seen you in the chat, in our chat at least, uh, and probably have checked some of your videos as well, maybe we can start with uh, a little introduction of uh, well, who you are as a channel first, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. <laughs> Okay, well, my name is Benjamin, and this is my oldest daughter, Abigail. We call her Abby for short, because we don't like long names. We have long enough names as it is. But, uh, and uh, we started, I started actually with my youngest daughter, a channel about a year ago, and we would go to the park, and we would go to the lake, and we would go different places, and very soon I started running out of content because she's five, <laughs> it's always going to the park or it's going to McDonald's. And so I thought, well, I'll start an outdoor channel because we're constantly doing something outside. Yes. And uh, you can even see in one of my videos, I, I patch a hole in the driveway. <laughs> so <laughs> we can put anything on YouTube like that. And so I started that February the 10th. And after the first couple of videos, you know, it was going along pretty good. And then all of a sudden it just kind of took off all at once. And a bunch of people started watching and a bunch of people started commenting. And even now, if I go to post a video, uh, I usually get about 50 views the first hour. So I'm really excited with that. And, and um, my family all live about 750 miles away. And so... I kind of started this as a way to post a video to where my family could look in and see on what, what all we were doing. Right. And um, so it just kind of went from there. I didn't have any idea what to call it. So me and a good friend of mine, uh, he started a channel as well. Uh, Get to it outdoors. He started a channel about the same time I did. We were all trying to come up with some names. So I thought, well, Hoosier for Indiana, Razorback for Arkansas, Hoosierback. Oh, so that's, that's all why. Oh, that's so interesting. That's smart. <laughs> well, I've never been accused of being smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's really smart because I couldn't figure out why is it why it is so. And you know, I'm from I'm not even from Canada, but I live in Canada. So when you were telling me about two parts of it, I'm like, okay, but where where does it come from, really? You know, so it's it's. Uh, okay, that's I love it. I love the explanation. <laughs> yes, we uh, we started. I started watching you guys, following you all, probably two months ago, and I fell in love with Pusha Studios. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like well, in fact, last night I was uh, mowing the yard, and I felt my phone vibrate, and I looked down, and I'm like, oh no, it's time for the live stream. So I stopped mowing halfway through the yard just so I could stop and watch. <laughs> yes, you were saying. I thought it was so cute. <laughs> and we appreciate that a lot. And and yes, we've seen you coming in regularly. It's it's amazing. Thank you so much. And that's why I'm glad to have you on. Um, I'm very honored to be on and not just on with you all, but on in the same week with Furburger and Violet Bird and Patsy. <laughs> and I'm telling you what. It's going to be hard to follow up. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you're going to do just fine. Well, your daughter is very shy or quiet. <laughs> no, I'm not shy or quiet at all. I'm just oh. listening. <laughs> <laughs> you're just letting your dad talk at first, and, and then you're going to take over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, introduce uh, yourself to everybody. Okay, I'm Abby. Uh, I go, I'm a sophomore at for North Orange High School, and uh, I play volleyball. I used to play basketball, but I don't play it anymore. Um, I'm really musical. I love to sing. I play the ukulele. I just recently, my dad here, he got me a little kitty. 
and oh. I named her Luna. She's running around right now. Oh, you probably right here right there now. You go. Here's Luna. My dad got me a little kitty. Oh, she's about six weeks old, and I just love her. So I'm over here all the time. She likes running around and scratching people's feet. I got scratch marks all over my arms, but uh, yeah, that's about me. I just I like to babysit. I love hanging out with kids and doing stuff with kids, and that's why I like interacting with my dad and my little sister and all the videos and stuff like that. It's a really fun time. Oh, that's amazing. Well, th thank you for joining your dad tonight. Yeah, I was happy to when he asked me. <laughs> that's great. Uh, well, uh, talking about your channel, uh, guys, uh, yes, it's, it's amazing. I was uh, watching through it again and how fast you jump through. You're around 700, a little bit less than 700 now. Is that true? Correct. Yeah. And uh, you you started in only in February 10th, so it's since a couple of months. That's quite a jump. Right, right. And, we're and very, very you are there, and your comment people are commenting. Uh, you're really doing great. I think uh, lots of channels are kind of slowing down. You know, especially after the you know the big ad apocalypse. Uh, everybody jumped on the channels, but then it kind of slowed down. But I think yours is uh, holding on there. It's, it's uh, still getting attention. So Yes, we're very thankful. Very <laughs> thankful. Um, well, uh, what, what if you could define what your channel is about? Uh, how would you describe it for somebody who haven't seen it? Like, what exactly in one sentence? What is it about? Well, most of it um, is fishing because we really like to fish and any spare moment that we get, we're going to be fishing because that's just what we do. We love to fish, but then uh, we have morels here in Indiana, which is a mushroom that grows in the woods. I did a, a whole catch and cook, if you will, with those went and picked them and then cooked them. And then I have, I have one video as well. That is a metal detecting video. I like metal detecting on the side. I, think that, and I will have questions on that too. I'm curious. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm no expert. That's just fun to dig in the dirt. I mean, a 40 year old guy digging in the dirt. That's pretty funny, really, if you think about it. <laughs> well, I'm sure you can find boys. some treasures there. Yeah, there's there's little boys in all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a little child in all of us, that's for sure. Because yes. uh, like yesterday with Patsy, I, I felt like a child watching the, the puppet show play, you know, and just oh, yeah, smile yeah. on it's like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> it was very good <laughs> exactly uh well i think sometimes we need to you know especially after the long week or the everyday things that we have to deal with in our lives it's just good to return to that inner child sometimes <laughs> right right i agree i agree <laughs> um yeah so you so you love fishing do you all go together uh or uh, uh is it more of a mother uh, of the father and a uh, daughter thing or like uh, how do you like to spend fishing time together well she's the one that goes with me most of the time because my son has a, a full-time job plus goes to school uh he'll be playing football this year as well or he's he's gonna try out <laughs> so we'll see how that goes and um so he he doesn't have much time he has been with me a couple times in fact when i first purchased the drone Earlier this year, me and him went out to some uh, limestone quarries here uh, around the area and uh, flew it around. And he's in my, he's in that video. And do you mind if I if I share your uh, channel just a little bit? Oh no, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> just wanted to ask before I do. <laughs> go ahead. And uh, and then of course Blair, she's part of our everyday life, a little five year old and. She is a hoot. She is hilarious. And uh, she has these little sayings. She calls people hillbilly at random times. Oh, my God. <laughs> we will be in the grocery store, and she will talk to some old lady and say, hi, hillbilly. And we're, I'm thinking to myself, oh, Lord, help us. <laughs> we're going to get slapped. But everyone just falls in love with her. And, and uh, of course, we've got to have her on the show. She attracts a lot of attention. She seems to make ratings uh, go up. So, <laughs> yeah, she's cute. I I I believe that. <laughs> that's the, that's the best way to get your views up. <laughs> yes, yes, clickbait. She is my clickbait. 
<laughs> That's right. Well, she's so cute too. Uh, I mean, we have a, a seven-year-old, and and you know all the expressions that go with it. It's it's amazing sometimes what kids right. come up with, and sometimes you want to hide under the ground somewhere and <laughs> pretend right. you can hear it. <laughs> but overall, it's so cute, so I totally get you. And and she is so cute, my God. Right. How did uh, how is she after her spill last night? Oh, uh, she's, she's okay. She's okay. She's more of a, it was a big, <laughs> it was a big thing, but uh, she's also a little actress as well. Uh, oh. So it was more of a, uh, it was more of a that than it was actually hurting. <laughs> oh, so yes. Little girls and drama go together very well. Yeah, my God. <laughs> yes. And my, uh, um, we actually, we named her with two names, Audrey Alla. And Alla is my grandmother. She used to, uh, she passed away freshly, but she is, uh, uh, she was an actress in the Russian drama theater in Riga. And uh, that, I always think that she uh, very well lives up to it because there's lots, oh, yes. of, that. <laughs> <laughs> there's lots of drama. So <laughs> two boys, because our other ones is 11 and 20, they're both boys. So uh, it's, it's, it's a different story with a little girl for sure. <laughs> yeah. The other day I, I went into a local restaurant here in town with Blair and I walk in the restaurant. Of course, there's people all around and people that were working there were like, hi, Blair. Hi, Blair. Like nobody knew who I was, but everyone knew who Blair was. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I love that. <laughs> they, you see, they're little kids. They don't have any inhibitions. They are so receptive to everybody. They don't shine or nothing. <laughs> right, right. I think we could learn from them, I think, sometimes. <laughs> Life might be a little bit easier if we would learn from them. Yes, that's true. That's true. Uh, so we heard more about Abby uh, how, and uh, a little bit about Blair. Uh, uh, what about your son? Uh, he he loves football. What what else? Tell us more about your children that are not here. <laughs> okay. Well, he's he's six foot two, so he's taller than me. Oh wow! And he's been six foot two for about a year and a half now. So. He was six foot two when he was 15. Wow. And me being 5'11, he was looking down at me. So when I get onto him, it's like, hey, you listen here. <laughs> How does that grounding go? <laughs> well, actually, truth be told, I could not ask for better children. I could ask him to take the trash out. I could ask him to sweep the porch off. I could ask him to sweep the kitchen. And he would never complain one time. Not mm -hmm. once has he ever complained. That's and it's, sense. yeah, it's, it's a godsend. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, I have, I have great children, great children. And he's told me once or twice, dad, I know when you're serious. Cause you get this look on your face. <laughs> he does. I can tell. <laughs> really. Abby, is, is uh, it right? does he get the look? Yes. He like raises his eyebrow. Like, I don't think he realizes it, but he like raises his eyebrow. Oh no. <laughs> we lost our life. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he raises his eyebrow and like he gets, he looks you dead in the eye, like dead in the eye. And you're just like, you can't look away because it's like, it's like you're locked on his eyes and he's like dead serious about it. Like, go do this right now or else. Well, at least I know it's working. Yeah, definitely is. <laughs> you know when he means business for sure. <laughs> yes. And he gets the dad voice. It's not like nice, it's not like a nice, subtle voice. It's more like a get go do this right now and it's just <laughs> real firm and then you're like okay you better get it <laughs> well it's great it works it sounds like so <laughs> yes it definitely does yes <laughs> but that's amazing it sounds like your children are all very friendly with each other too and therefore helps you as well that's that's amazing yes i'm very very thankful <laughs> aww <laughs> Yeah, uh, that, that's really great. Uh, uh, our kids too, that they, they are very, very friendly with each other. And so and sometimes I really, I didn't uh, grow up with any brothers or sisters. So uh, for me, it's like a first firsthand experience, but I do appreciate that they have each other, you know. Uh, yes. For sure. Uh, that, that's a great thing to have. Um, well, uh, tell me more about your hobby, your fishing. There are some questions was here about fishing, so let's get into that. 
what do you fish uh, for? Uh, where do you go for fishing? <laughs> I'm reading some of the comments and getting tickled. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love farm ponds, like farm ponds around the area. Um, we also have a lake that's only about uh, 10 miles away. Actually, it's the largest lake in the state of Indiana. And so oh. it's only about 10 miles away. So we always go there. Um, creek fishing, we have some beautiful creeks here. In fact, I have one video of a creek we have here. It's called Indian Creek. And I did some fishing there. I think I think Andrew uh, commented on it, actually. And... Um, it's just beautiful and you can wade the creek in the summertime when it's hot and the water's really cool and it feels great and it's got beautiful smallmouth bass in it. It has rock bass in it. Me, uh, me and the kids actually love doing that. Actually, Abby last year took one of her friends from high school with us and we all, we went down to the creek to go fishing and her friends like stepping down in the creek and me and her friend absolutely wiped out right in the water. <laughs> cell oh. phones and all and so oh there's, my no reason God. To cry. there's no reason to cry then you know you might as well laugh at it right. so we got pretty tickled about it and actually our phones were okay really oh well you're lucky then yes. <laughs> the best part about that fishing trip was i've done something that i've never done before and that was catch a rock it was on one of the videos but i literally caught a rock i cast it down rock. the creek and i was like dad i have a huge fish like this is a humongous fish and i pull it up and i'm like why isn't the fish moving you know and then i pull i pull it out of the water and there's a rock on my hook and it was just amazing i was like How did oh my happen? god I actually caught a rock. so nobody can live up to my expectations and if you do <laughs> let me know <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't think I ever heard of that. So maybe it's the first. <laughs> well, now you do. <laughs> we, oh, my God, that's so funny. <laughs> we have actually toyed with the idea of doing like a makeup tutorial with me putting her makeup on her and oh. see how it turns out. So I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll be ready. We, I'm down. We've toyed around with the idea of that. But I mean, it's not outdoorsy, but maybe we could do it outside. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a great idea. I've seen a couple of videos where the boyfriend does it to his girlfriend or the other way around. I don't know why that, but the girlfriend puts makeup on the boyfriend. <laughs> 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 and uh, I think it would be cool, like for, for a father daughter thing, too. Interesting what you could come up with. Do you think you would be good at it? Uh, I think we could be, we would be really surprised. I really do. I'm, I, I'm a perfectionist. So I don't know about the Violet Bird said it best the other night. Perfection is the enemy of good, right? <laughs> oh, creativity, yes. <laughs> That's what she said, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, but sometimes it's good to be perfectionist, I think. I think it moves, moves us more for doing things, you know. Uh, it's always right. not to fall into extremes. Somewhere in the, in the middle, I guess. Sometimes it's good yes. to Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Abby, you would let him go at it and just just do what you want and <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't I don't know what what everybody wants to know. I mean, she would uh she would probably be praying the whole time I was putting her makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> Some crazy yes. colors and everything. Yes. Praying that I didn't put it on Snapchat or Facebook or <laughs> I'm hoping that I had enough makeup wipes to take it off afterwards. Yes, exactly. Well, I if you are doing that video, I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm sure it's gonna be lots of fun. <laughs> okay. We'll keep you updated, okay? Definitely, definitely. For so sure. um do you go uh does the little one go to the fishing trips as well with you? Does she fish herself? Well, I, she has never fished, but see, now you're jumping ahead of me because I need to make a video of that this summer. <laughs> but I, what I want to do is like take her to Walmart, let her pick out a fishing pole and then take her fishing and let her catch her first fish and get it all in one, uh, in one video. That would be amazing memory for them to keep too. Yes. So that, that's kind of what I'm planning on doing this summer with her but yeah she loves it i mean every time she sees pictures of me and fish or watches the videos with fish she goes daddy got a big fish 
I mean, so she loves the fish. Now, she's not much on touching them, but uh, we're going to find out if she likes to catch them. Oh, that, that's cute. Uh, I, my, our daughter right away, if she wants ever, anything, it's right away Frozen, like uh, from the movie Frozen. Oh, oh yes. yes, yes. That's on top of the list, too? Yes, yeah. I, I, I could sing that song forward and backwards, I think. <laughs> Oh, if, if my husband would be here, he would be telling the story how he used to work uh, putting up the signs, you know, the lights and the signs behind, like the neon lights and signs on the stores. So uh, when the movie came out and Audrey was singing like back and forth, this was the same as uh, uh, your little one, I'm sure. And he was up on the um, uh, on a truck of uh, putting the signs and singing to himself, let it go. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> And sometimes it was loud and everybody could hear it because he could just catch up on the moment. He's like, oh, he's doing it, you know, pushing his feet up in the air, singing the song. So every time I mention that, he always tells the story. So he's not here, so I'm telling you. <laughs> what, what's bad is that I, I, I have a bad habit of whistling. My grandpa did it all the time. So I whistle constantly. And, and I've caught myself so many times whistling the song, Let It Go. <laughs> I'm praying for that second part of it when it finally will come out so it switches the songs because now it's Moana but it still comes back to Frozen <laughs> yes oh, no, from a million time <laughs> Anna and Elsa and oh lord help us yes yes <laughs> um, so yeah so she, she, she would choose probably her fishing rod something themed with that do, do you see a pink fishing rod in your future or blue do I see, see a what a pink fishing rod in your future oh, oh yeah definitely in <laughs> fact I, I would fish with a pink fishing rod <laughs> as uh -huh. long as it catches there fish there you go <laughs> Um, well, your channel, as you said, is mostly videos are about fishing, but there are a few other ones that are there as well. And one that I definitely wanted to ask you about was about uh, the metal detector. Is that that's how it's called? Metal detector? Right. Yes. Right. Uh, so I, I'm always very curious about that. Uh, why, why people started and the main thing, what do you find? Like what have been the items that you have found? Well, uh, first off, when I went to uh, when I went to purchase one, I, I got the cheapest one they had. I mean, it was it might have been eighty dollars. Uh, that's U.S. dollars, <laughs> but it was really cheap. Took it out, and I found coin after coin after coin. And a lot of times you'll find pull tabs, um, little uh, tabs from pop tabs. And uh, you have to, there's a different sound for each kind of metal. Oh. And so I know exactly when it's a dime or a quarter because of the sound it makes. And oh, yeah. mine's not high tech where it has the digital readout where you can see what kind of metal it is in the ground. It's just, it just has noises. And so actually I brought it home and took it out in the front yard. And within about 30 or 40 minutes, I had found five dollars and something and change just in my front yard alone wow so, so the the thing is you want to find like old coins like pre-1963 that would be silver uh actually a 19 uh silver quarter uh now from pre-1963 is worth about three dollars and 25 cents just in silver alone wow so yeah <laughs> it's 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 a lot of fun i mean plus you get to pretend you're a little boy again and play in the dirt <laughs> <laughs> so so besides the five dollars in your front yard uh was there some oddball items that you have found or something interesting and yes i found uh i found about a 12 inch nail like a railroad spike in my front yard and i have no idea why it was there or why anybody would put it there and i also found our natural gas line which runs oh. to the house, which probably wasn't a very good idea. <laughs> but luckily, <laughs> luckily, I didn't tear it up and got it put back in the ground and covered back up. So, <laughs> oh yes, that's that's probably a good thing to do. <laughs> I didn't know that the metal uh, gives different sounds for uh, like metal detector for each metal. 
Right. Um, I just thought it just beeps every time there is some kind of metal there. That's quite interesting that it can detect the actual differences. Actually, um, here in Indiana, I have found Canadian money. Really? While metal detecting, yes. And one of my favorite places to go is like softball fields, public softball fields, public baseball fields, because right in the edge of the infield, from people playing out there, change will fall out of their pockets. So uh, there's some softball fields here in town that I went to. Oh, it was probably, it was about a year and a half ago. Me and my son actually went and we found about $6 in change mm. just, just in the baseball field. Wow. I so. should really look into that more. And why I'm so curious too is because uh, we have here, uh, we live by the big park and it's like a big field and people uh, oftentimes play soccer there in the summer. And every time the game ends, like maybe half an hour after, I can see this man with a metal detector looking. First, I didn't know what he was doing, but uh, <laughs> then I figured uh, he's just looking for money like every day after this uh, uh, soccer ends. I can only imagine how much he can earn every day in the summer like that. Yes, yes. And, and underneath the bleachers. Yeah. You know, that, there's all kinds of stuff. That's like amazing. I, I found a ring. Uh, oh. I found a toe ring. I found a, uh, it wasn't a brooch, but it was like a small crucifix. Just any type of jewelry too, as well. Wow. That's really interesting. Yeah, it's I, I, it's and a lot really, of fun. I, I'm pretty sure my, I, uh, our middle one would love that too. All the investigative stuff and discovery. That's that's quite interesting. The, oh the yeah. Family fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Musky Han said it's soil, not dirt. If it's trapped in your house. Oh. <laughs> I, I grew up. I grew up in Arkansas, so it was called dirt. <laughs> but yes, musky. It's soil. He's laughing because he is our. Um, he is going for his doctorate. Uh, basically, his PhD in soil science. Yes, I remember that. That's yeah, great. Uh, which was very interesting discovery uh, when he was live on, on our stream. So that's why, yes, if our PhD says it's not dirt, then it's not dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I know every time uh, Muskie comes in the chat when Andrew's on, Andrew had to tell that story over again. Oh, my Lord, there's this guy. <laughs> oh, we were so shocked. I, I think nobody really, like, did you, uh, were you in the chat that day? What's that? Were you in the chat that day? Uh, no, I wasn't. But every time afterwards, you know, every live stream, Muskie would come in and then Andrew would have to tell the story all over again. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because chat literally, as he says, just stopped and it, nobody went away. Like numbers didn't go anywhere. It just everybody, I think, was so shocked about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, I, I, that's what had a huge impact, I think, on us too. So that's yes. still keep talking. Um, there was a question from um, back to the fishing from Teastrog. If you have ever tried magnet fishing, no, I haven't. But there is a channel I watch, and I guess I'll give her a shout out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she's called uh, Yakking with Sarah. Oh. It's one word, yakking with Sarah, and she does some magnet fishing. In fact, she found some pretty neat things in her last few videos. Uh, you may can check her out, but uh, she's done it. I, there's guys in England uh, that have done it that I've watched. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, I would love to try that sometime. For somebody who doesn't know too much about fishing details, what is magnet fishing? Well, that's where you, you get this high-powered magnet that is like really, really strong, put it on the end of a rope, throw it out in the water, and then pull it back really slow and you find out what's on the end of it. I've seen them bring up spoons, forks, rings, anything that's metal will attach to it. So anything that's been thrown in the water for how many ever years is gonna to attach to it and you bring it in, you find all kinds of things. Oh, so it's kind of the same way as you're doing with a metal detector, just doing it in the water basically. Right, correct. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't know that either. They... <laughs> I didn't know that either. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. <laughs> oh, I definitely should try that in the summer. That's the, uh, too bad it doesn't fish out phones or things like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be handy. 
<laughs> I'm sure there are lots of them in the swimming places all over. Well, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, so uh, what kind of other uh, videos do you have? The fishing, the the one that I just asked about is my, I think is my favorite one just because of you, my curiosity. Um, and you said that you're documenting your um, family life. I, I like I like the the way you described it when I asked you to uh, to describe your your um, family on your channel. Um, because uh, you know it it is in a way it's like leaving memories for them afterwards when they grow up. It, Correct. Do, yeah. Do you yeah, see I, it that way? I wanted to make sure that you know my parents uh, they get to I get to see them two or three times a year, and so my parents, my grandparents, my aunts and uncles could get on YouTube and see what we were doing. I tried to start posting you know at least once a week. Mm -hmm. So they could see what was going on, what we were doing, the fun things we were doing and, you know, kind of be a part of our life through YouTube. And um, actually on um, out of maybe two weeks ago, I put out one. I have a friend that works at a limestone uh, company here in Bedford. He's a salesman mm. and uh, he wanted me to come with my drone and make some footage of some limestone buildings around town. Uh, so he could put it together for like a little two minute video for his social media pages uh, as far as sales and everything. So I kind of I kind of slipped that in on one of the videos one day. I think it's the one where I even patched the driveway. <laughs> yeah, Is it the one with work and pleasure? Yes, that's it. OK, let's take and a look. I, um... I kind of slid that one in there and I did a little bit of fishing and then I went to a a hardware store and then I came home and patched a hole in the driveway. This is beautiful. This is very beautiful. I'm sure you're sharing now the beginning of the video. Uh, and this is amazing. Wow. Do you enjoy using your drone? Yes, yes, definitely. In fact, when I, when I got, uh, my drone, uh, my friend that started a channel with me um, at the same time I did. Actually, he's in the chat at Get To It Outdoors. Everybody go check him out. <laughs> but he had bought a drone, and so he brought it over, showed me how it worked, and then I had to have one, so I bought it. And then once I began to take videos with it, incorporate it into my uh, videos that I would put out every week, it made such a huge difference in the quality of the videos. I was, I was astounded. I didn't realize how much of a difference it would make in the quality of the video. Oh, definitely. It does for sure. It gives a completely different edge, a different flow of it and, and more, uh, I would say professional look to it as well. Right. Uh, definitely. Uh, what kind of drone do you have? I have a DJI spark. It's the really small one. But it, yeah. it uh, films in HD, and it's it's so affordable for the DJI brand. I know DJI is top of the line, and uh, I think I gave three hundred and forty nine dollars for it. So it was very very affordable. And yeah, they're not so expensive. Like their higher up uh, things, like the Inspire ones, uh, are are more expensive. You know, like a couple thousand and thousand dollars. I think is is the cheaper ones from the higher end. But it really seems like the lower end ones are as good or sometimes even better. Like the ones that you have, you can always put in a pocket basically and have it with you, which is so cool. Yes, I, I really enjoy it because it's so, I have a, a bag that I keep my camera gear in if I go anywhere and it fits perfectly in the little side pocket, doesn't take up any room and it's in a protective case. That way it's not bumped or knocked around. And he, actually, it comes with it when you buy it, and uh, it, it's perfect. I love it. Actually, when you set it up and start flying it, it has a follow me mode that you can highlight someone on your screen, and then wherever you move, it will follow you. Oh. And I, I did that to Blair, my five-year-old, uh, <laughs> at Easter, and she kept looking back and seeing it following her, and <laughs> she didn't like that very much. <laughs> 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 yeah, I can only imagine. That's pretty cool, too, you know, to see where they're going without actually following them. <laughs> yes. Uh, the 
the uh, technology that is packed in such a small drone is just incredible to me. I can't even fathom uh, the technology that's in one. It's amazing. Yeah, it, like two, three years ago, uh, it, it really wasn't there yet. They were big, they were expensive and clumsy, and the picture wasn't so good. And, it, uh, you know, it's amazing how much it has evolved in, in these two, three years, you know, the picture quality and, and the size of it, especially. And I'm all about uh, having the smaller size cameras because, like, I use as, as my photography camera uh, just a mirrorless Sony, and, you know, I could upgrade to DSLR or a full-frame camera, but those are so big and so heavy. Uh, I like to have camera on me at all times. Again, I can't imagine, you know, holding that or the full backpack of stuff all the time. This one I can just take me in my hand or throw, like, even put it in a purse if I don't need any other lenses and have it with me. So I, I definitely appreciate the size of it and we are looking actually we don't have a drone right now but we're looking into buying one so that's why i'm curious to how it works yes and what one of the reasons that uh i started the channel and geared it more toward outdoor stuff not necessarily fishing or hunting or something like that but anything we do outside and we got mm. some camping trips planned this year that we want to uh we want to go to and of course we're going to film while we're there doing that and and um so and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so the drone would be great addition to document that, what you were saying. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But yeah, we last year I caught a huge fish, the biggest bass that I'd ever caught in my life. And then it wasn't just a couple of months later, and I caught one even bigger than that. And then after those two instances, I said to myself, I'm taking a video camera next time. I'm getting a GoPro that I can put on a chest mount that way I've got the whole thing not just the photo yes yes that's that's true and you know it always is like that when you forget the camera there's always the shot that you wanted to take and when you take it then there's really nothing to take a picture of yes I I always have a camera close all the yeah. time now <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah not to miss the shot um we're um uh, like in in where you are right now, uh, can you fly it anywhere? Because like um, in Canada, uh, there's very, especially where we are in Montreal here and in Quebec, the, the laws are so bad that you can't really fly almost anywhere. Like uh, it got so ridiculous when they were uh, taking out the, re putting out the regulations about drones uh, that you can't fly anywhere uh, close to the, any airports or anything that you could fly out of any fields uh, like hospital roofs or anything that could be considered for landing of a helicopter, for example. And even right. so far that you can't fly over any living uh, uh, creatures and not specifying what is it. So, you know, if it's a moose running or it's a squirrel on the ground, it still counts as a living creature under that law. So it's quite hard to, to fly anything, especially around the city and you have to have a license, and especially if it's commercial, like us for the weddings, you have to have two pilots at the same time, like it's crazy. I wondered if there's anything very restrictive where you are, or is it like you can just fly, use it uh, the way you want it? Yeah, I watched. I was watching during uh, Tuesday's live when yeah. we were talking about drones as well, and Andrew was talking about all the different restrictions they have, but here, there's not really many restrictions at all other than being close to an airport. I think, if I'm not mistaken, and somebody in the chat can help me here, <laughs> uh, I think it's five miles within five miles of an airport. You're really not technically supposed to fly one. In fact, I had a friend that's in the chat. <laughs> he, he went out to check some traps that he had set. And when he went to fly his drone, he was too close to the airport here in town. So... It, he really couldn't fly it at all. Uh, that, yeah, it, it, it is hard. Here is, I think it's nine miles uh, over uh, like any flying field. Is it just airport, like airports, like official international airports, or is it any uh, place where you could fly off? It's, I would say it's probably any airport. Yeah, it's so Even restrictive. Even small ones. It's so restrictive. I don't, I don't really understand how they want people to use it especially for commercial purposes 
I have a little one here saying hi or falling asleep. I don't know. You want to say hi? Oh. No? <laughs> but you came here, then I assume you wanted to say hi. Oh. Or are you coming to say goodnight to me? Oh. No? Oh. <laughs> oh, go, go brush your teeth, okay? <laughs> Uh-oh, brushing the teeth again. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> See how that, well, how that goes. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> she, as I said, she always, ever since we put her in the front of uh, the camera and one of our live streams to start it, uh, she always now wants to make an appearance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Might take it over. By the way, talking about the little ones and channels, I noticed that you have another channel as well, not just the one that you're under now. Right. That's that's actually the one I started with a little over a year ago for just Blair, anything we had to do with Blair. And actually, I think I have one of Abby on there taking her driver's permit test. And then the latest one I put up was, was of Easter. No, I think the, on there. The driver's test is on who's your back? No, it's not. It's on Blair's. Wow. <laughs> Never mind. Just kidding. So, yeah, I, that's one I originally started with. And I have 46 or so followers over there. And, you know, I kind of phased it toward the outdoor channel because Blair's in a lot of them. And because she's good clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> and so most of the stuff we're going to do, we're going to do outside. And we're going to do with Blair. And we're going to do with Abby. And we're going to do with Garrett. So I'm kind of phasing it out, but over this direction. So you're trying to merge more everything under one roof, what you're saying? Correct. Because okay. one channel is hard enough to chase, <laughs> much less two. I think it's it's possible to merge the videos. To, I'm not really sure about technicalities, but you can uh, merge the one channel, uh, move it from one place to another, uh, like with the help of YouTube, so you don't lose everything if you want to uh, save it under one roof. Well, maybe I'll have to look into that. I can yeah, put it in as a as a playlist. YouTube. There is a there's a, in the forum if you can look under it, how to merge the channels. Uh, and I think you have to message them as well. But it's possible, so then you don't lose it completely after. Sorry. <laughs> Your brother can help you with the toothpaste. Okay. Sorry, I'm alone today, so. <laughs> It's it's teeth brush drama again. Yes, exactly. Um, okay. <laughs> Hopefully it goes well. Um, well, okay. Uh, well, By the way, yep. uh, before I forget, I would love to say happy Mother's Day to you, Zinnia, and to all the mothers out there, and to my mom and my girlfriend. Thank and you. And all the other mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, uh, tell me if, if we're talking about mothers and life, uh, tell me about uh, your background besides the channel, who you are, what do you like doing, or wh where did you grow up? Tell me more about uh, your guys' family besides the channel. Yes, okay, well, I grew up in um, southern, uh, southwest Arkansas about 15 miles south of Texarkana. Uh, a lot of people on here may know where that's at. And uh, it was really hot down there. And if it snowed at all in the winter, if two flakes fell out of the sky, they shut school down. They shut the town down. Just oh if a few God. flurries came down, because it was, it was like the snow apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> and so I didn't have much snow at all growing up. We had very, very mild winters. And I grew up, my grandfather was a pastor of a Pentecostal church. My father was a pastor of a Pentecostal church. My mom was a piano player in the church. And so I grew up singing and playing drums in the church. And um, one funny story about that is that, we, you know, you always had to be quiet in church. Yeah. And of course, I sat across the church from my mom with my friends. And, but I always had to sit up close so she could see me. And anytime I was uh, misbehaving or, you know, making a commotion with my friends, my mom always had this thing. She either snapped her fingers or she cleared her throat. 
<laughs> and I could differentiate my mom's finger snap from any other mom in the church. I knew when it was my mom's finger snap. And uh, also the way she cleared her throat, you know, it's, she had these different levels of clearing her throat. Like if it was a soft clear, like <clears throat> it meant, boy, you better look at me. <laughs> oh my God. And then, you know, if she could get a little more animated with it, if it was a little bit more like, <clears throat> it meant, boy, you're going to die when you get home. <laughs> oh my God. It's a cold translator to different types of uh... <laughs> Yes. So we always have these stories of our mother, you know, where we, where we knew, we knew it was her. Before, and I never, ever threw a fit in a grocery store, ever. Of course, I was raised in a different time where, and of course, in the southern United States, in the middle of the grocery store, you could jerk your kid up and spank their bottom and nobody thought a thing about it. Right. <laughs> so, so that happened to me once or twice and then I learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I love the story about learning how the, the different types of coffee. That's amazing. Oh, yes. Yes, it was. It was amazing, you know, and then and then there was those moments she cleared her throat and you knew that you were going to die when you get home and she was going to invite the whole church over to watch, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. Did that happen? <laughs> no, <quite> that bad, <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you grew up in a, in a church family, so to say. Yes, yes, definitely. Definitely. Uh, do you and, have any siblings? I have one older sister and uh, her name is Vonda. And she has, uh, she had two foster children that she got right after they were born. How old are they now? Like 18. They're 19. 12. No, Vonda's kids. <laughs> are you talking about? How old is Vonda's kids? 12 and. Oh, her kids now? Yeah. Oh, I thought you They're meant like 11 and 12. Yeah. And they. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My bad. You're no help. <laughs> but. Anyway, she had foster kids when they were real young, and then she ended up being able to adopt them. Uh, my sister and her husband didn't think they could have children. And after they adopted these two children, my sister uh, ended up getting pregnant. Oh. And so they have three children. And they're, uh, Jacob, the youngest, is the same age as Blair. And then the two older ones, I think, are 11 and 12. And... Um, Really, really sweet family. I love them. Actually, I was talking to them before I came on here, and they had to go to a funeral this evening, or they would have been able to watch. But I told them they could watch later. But, yes, really, really good family. I, I don't have any complaints at all. I was raised very strict as a child. Okay. But I have never thought that it ever bothered me. In fact, it's made me a better person. Right. Yeah, I, I I agree too. I think uh, nowadays a lot of uh, the way the the parenting is is a lot of referral, if I may say, uh, sometimes, uh, which uh, doesn't, you know, you you have to have responsibilities in order to learn, uh, you know, uh, the value of yourself in life. And I think sometimes nowadays uh, the parenting is too free of that. And I sometimes fear what the new generations are going to be like without I agree. Sense of uh, responsibility. I um, agree. There was, I, I never got away with anything. There was consequences for bad choices, you know, when I was smaller, which taught me in turn that when I'm an adult, bad choices come with bad consequences. That's right. And good choices come with good consequences, which has helped me. And I'm very, very thankful for my mom and dad and the way they raised me. I will, I'll never be able to thank them enough. Uh, is dad strict or is just that look, is, does he apply the same parenting skills to you too, Abby? Oh, to me? I mean, yes. Yeah, he does. He, he's a really laid back dad. And when you want him to be your friend, he'll be your best friend. Then when it's ready to be dad and something happens, then he's dad and you know. Like when he's actually not your, when he's not being your friend, when he's being your dad. Sorry, my cat is hanging on to me right now. There have been times, you know, being a dad where she's came to me and had like problems with her friends. And it's, it's all about, she looked at me the wrong way or she was talking to this boy. And I'm like, honey, I, I'm a, 
I'm a guy. I don't know. All I can say is I'm here for you and you can talk and I can listen, but I don't know what to do to help you. There was actually one day he picked me up from school and I just, I just had a horrible day. Everybody knows what I mean. Everything just seemed like it went wrong. And I got in the car and he was like, Hey, we're going to go to the grocery store. Then we're going to get head home. So I was like, okay. So I told him about my day. And one thing just led to another that led to another that led to another. And it's probably a good 15 minute drive from my school to the grocery store. And then probably another 10 or 15 to home. And I didn't shut up the whole time. My mouth was running. He never said a word. Just "Uh uh-huh. Yeah. When we got home and he was like, wait a minute. Have you realized that you haven't stopped talking since we left the school? And I said, you know what, dad? Sometimes I just need someone to listen to me. And sometimes you're that guy. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's there. And sometimes, you know, you just need somebody to listen. You don't need them to reply to you. You don't need them to say anything back to you. All you need is someone to listen. And my dad is that guy, that person for me, just to let it all out. So I'm <laughs> your person. Amazing. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> But that's amazing that what you just said, that's that's really a, a really cool thing to have with that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes, yes I'm, I'm very glad for my children. They're wonderful. I wouldn't trade them for the world. <laughs> uh, you were mentioning about, uh, you know, how uh, Abby as a girl comes to you with the problems or when she was younger too. How is it to raise uh, daughters uh, you have a son too, but uh, you know it must be different uh, when they do come with the questions that you don't know anything about. Well, have you ever, have you ever been to a rodeo and seen the rodeo clowns trying to corral the bulls? Yeah, They're kind of the same thing. <laughs> you know, you just let them go and just try to keep them contained until they all calm down, and then we have a nice little talk. <laughs> <laughs> That pretty much sums it up. It must be easier a little bit with Blair since you already went once through that, so it's a little bit more familiar. Yes, yes. Blair gets a lot of the exact same ponytails that Abby used to get when she was <laughs> five years old. Because <laughs> that's all I know how to do. <laughs> Sometimes we're about to go out to out to town or something like that, and my dad's like, come here, Blair, let me put your hair up on a ponytail. Next thing I know, she comes running back in my room. There's like a big bump. And I'm like, Dad, come on. You got you, you should have known by now. So then I refix it down. But <laughs> other than that, that's just how he rolls, ponytail. And a, <laughs> maybe a bow if it matches. <laughs> Does your dad know how to make a braid? How to braid hair? Uh, yeah, but not tight. You know, sometimes you need a tight braid because your hair is so soft. But it's like really loose, but he knows how to braid. Like I say, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> 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 yeah blue little girls and and perfection is that that must be interesting <laughs> yeah. the clothes the makeup the toys the dolls and everything yes yeah. <laughs> i've i've always said that girls are more expensive than boys because girls have to have pink dresses and pink hats and pink shoes and dolls and doll houses and a little boy all you got to do is put him in a t-shirt and blue jeans and throw him in a mud hole and he's happy <laughs> that's true that's true <laughs> do you find that there is different things in raising uh, a boy or, or a girl like the way you uh, parent them I, I find I, myself, I sometimes catch that it's a different, in a way, a different way than dealing with each of them. Right. And I, I think it doesn't have as much to do with the fact that they're uh, a boy or a girl, but everyone has different characteristics. Everyone has different ways of approaching situations. Every person comes up with their own set, you know, of ideas and the way they the way they are. So yeah, definitely. I, there's different ways that I approach Garrett about certain issues mm -hmm. than I approach Abby about certain issues. Because, you know, if, if I kind of get a stern, loud voice with Garrett, he don't think nothing of it. He just listens, obeys, it's good to go. With Abby, if I raise my voice, you know, get a little red in the face and say, what do you think you're doing? She's going to cry and it's going to be traumatic and yes. so it's a little bit different approach but i think it comes with understanding not necessarily whether they're a boy or girl but what is their personality 
their mm -hmm. personality needs to be treated different than this one. You can't approach everyone in the same situation. And I'm sure you know that working in the public. I mean, everybody has different personalities. Yes, definitely. I agree for sure. Uh, what what may be fit be, and also because our, the same as yours, our kids like are from different uh, ages, you know, like seven, 11 and 20. It's like cover, covering all at the same time, especially when only a toddler, toddler and a, a teenager uh, and young adult now, too. Uh, of course, it's different. I, I find myself, though, that um, even yes, I agree with the different personalities. But I find myself letting um, the boys do more than I do the girl, uh, my daughter. And I think for my husband, it's the other way around because uh, Audrey, she, since she's the only um, girl, uh, you know, it's, it's daddy's girl, you know, and always gets everything what she wants from daddy. And, <laughs> <laughs> and for, for me, it's the other way around. Like, uh, you know, I might uh, let do more things uh for for boys and be more strict with her because i i i'm thinking about when she grows up you know i don't want her to get in trouble i don't want ever anybody to hurt her you know like things like that so i try maybe more just to uh to cradle her more i don't know even how to call it so i i, I oftentimes think that it is for me at least it is different how i do uh parent both of them because of their gender it's kind of almost like well the boys are boys you know they can do that <laughs> <laughs> that's okay I'm getting in trouble a little bit that's fine <laughs> you know i'm sure i'm sure you do a fine job <laughs> so yeah so that's why i wonder how it is for other parents too sometimes um yeah but i think you raised a good uh, issue not the issue but a good point there yeah they're all different personalities so what doesn't fit for one it's for another and the other way around for sure um you mentioned that in the summer you are uh, uh planning to guys to go camping yes i hope so uh where are you planning to go do you have there a, is... like, a certain place you always go to or do you explore new places actually it has probably been two years since we went camping and i really missed it last summer but um uh... There's a place west of here uh, called West Boggs Lake uh, that we've been to. It's a beautiful place, beautiful place. So, uh, and then there's a place uh, just to the south and west of here. Uh, oh, what was, forgot what it's called. Uh, Dogwood Lake that uh, we're going to look into going this year. So, a bunch of beautiful, beautiful spots around here uh do you do like a rough camping or is it rv or how 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 much of a camping is it or is it a oh, an rv is not camping <laughs> that's right an rv is, is taking your home to the campsite <laughs> i agree <laughs> i love so, camping. Yes. camping campfire do you do all yes. that yes have a tent you know where you wake up in the morning and you're wet and you're cold and you wish you were home and your back hurts <laughs> <laughs> Abby, do you like uh, camping? Yeah, camping's fun, but only for like a night or two, and that's 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 about it. And then after that, I'm ready to go home, ready yeah. for my shower, ready for my bed, and my electricity, and my phone, and my light. <laughs> <laughs> but and it works. <laughs> yeah, it works good though because I feel the same way. I could, you know, a couple of nights, and I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> yeah the camping is fun especially with uh, i remember when we were kids that's so much fun so many memories afterwards to take from that <laughs> yes uh are there other traditions in, than camping that, and fishing that you guys do together through the year or special some things like for, uh, for christmas that you do together or other traditions that is well we usually um go to Arkansas to visit my family, which is a, you know, that's, that's a full day of driving. And so we all have a blast. And I mean, there's really never any arguments in the car. There's never any fussing. We just enjoy it and drive down there and then visit <clears throat> with my family for, you know, three or four days and come home. Of course, there's never enough time while you're there. You're always, you know, wanting to 
see this one or that one. And I also have friends I grew up with down there, so I can't see everybody, you know, but we usually go what twice a year. Yeah. We'll go twice a year. In fact, we have a, a trip planned uh, the third week of July this year. We're going to go down there and visit uh, for the week. So looking forward to that. And then usually around Christmas, uh, we'll, we'll go down and visit the family and stuff. So yeah, and that's sometimes they'll come up to us. Yeah, my oh, in fact my parents you. my parents are planning on coming up uh Memorial Day weekend with the last weekend in May to visit. So they'll be here for three or four days and we always have a good time. Of course I love it because mom and dad come and they always cook supper and they're cooking all the time and <laughs> yes. lots of really, really, really good food and we eat till we're sick and so yes, definitely. <laughs> But when they are not there, who cooks in your family? Well, uh, I do most of the time. Yeah. yeah. I cook I cook about three or four times a week. You know. So Abby, do you uh, cook? Uh yeah, yes, I make I make grilled cheese and <laughs> I make uh spaghetti. I've made hamburger helper before. It's like macaroni and hamburger with a little bit of cheese in it. Yeah. And and I help that a lot, like Maybe he'll be making like pork chops and I'll like put the uh, mashed potatoes on or something like that. I help him out sometimes, but most of the time it's all him and I'm doing homework or taking a shower or something like that. Actually, she makes this great, um, she'll make scrambled eggs oh, yeah. and then put sausage in it and then Ooh. put a little bit of bacon in it and some cheese and then we'll toast some bread and like put that on a sandwich. Oh, oh nice. so good mayonnaise put mayonnaise on the mayonnaise, bread yeah. oh. egg sandwich it's actually really good uh, i also really learned good. how to make homemade tortilla chips and those are literally yeah, to die are for good. those are really good you gotta tell me how do you make them okay i guess i'll tell you i'll spill the beans <laughs> you know, spill, the chips. spill the chips i'll spill the bag of chips so you get regular soft tortilla chips talk for a minute okay you get regular soft tortilla chips, and what I do is I put them in the microwave, and at, like it's supposed to dry them out, but they get moist. But if you let them sit out for like two or three minutes, and they get really, really dry, is what you really want. And then you, I take a pizza cutter and I cut up the regular tortilla shell um, into like regular uh, uh, chip sizes, like tortilla chip sizes, like, like little triangles. And then I take just oil, like vegetable oil, and I put it in a pan on the uh, on the stove, not in the oven. I don't know why I was going to say that. Um, and then you put the tortilla chips in, and I just get tongs. And you literally let them sit in there for, like, you want to put uh, the burner on, like, medium, maybe six or seven. And uh, you put the tortilla chip in, and you, let, and you, like, literally let it sit for probably about 30 seconds. Then you flip it over, and it's, like, a nice golden brown color. Most of them will, like, uh, inflate, I guess you could say. Okay. And those are the best ones. So then you set them to the side, and I put salt on them, like, salt them, like, <laughs> a lot. My kitty gets into everything. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then you take the tortilla chips out and let them sit and, like, get them all the oil off of them. And they are really, really good. And usually um, I'll take some meat and season the meat and make it all nice and make, like, a, a ta taco salad. With oh, it. nice! Really, really good. So they don't sog in the oil because that's what no. my question was. No, usually, um, yeah, I let the oil heat up first, and I set them in there, and they they don't get soggy at all because you don't want to put them in there too long or they'll burn. Like because right. the first time I did it, they were all almost black. No joke. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I need to turn down the burner and put them in there for less time. So. Even thirty seconds is pushing it, so you just want to watch it and make sure it's it'll be a nice golden brown and it'll have like a little like bubbles in them. It's really good. So oh. now we have a good idea for another video. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> that would be <laughs> great. I, I love it. I'll try it out actually this weekend because I have tortilla chips, the soft ones. So now yes. I'll try it out, and when you put the video up, I can put the review how it worked. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Definitely, because uh, kids love that and uh, tortilla chips. You know, that's with cheese afterwards on it. And mm. yes, so. we like to put tortilla chips and shredded cheese on it and melt it in the microwave. 
those that's our favorite. very simple very simple but it's a nice snack yeah and now i'm getting hungry <laughs> me too me too it sounds really good <laughs> there's well, some man. of those some of those channels that i watch on here i love the cooking shows and the barbecues and the grilling and i'll watch those and find myself just starving to death after i watch them oh it's crazy sometimes it's it's uh, there are a couple uh cooking uh channels that we're watching and it's like i i i wish you know of all the technologies that have been invented uh, with virtual reality and everything there would be something that you can actually trans transfer the the taste buds feeling as well you know because they have figured how to do like a bacon smell a attached smell. to the phone and things well i wish there would be something that could transfer the, the taste because some of the things that i agree like hamburgers there and the, oh my god it's just like <laughs> yeah. it's really good my mom always <laughs> said there. <laughs> and my mom always said but, oh, uh, it's some stuff i don't know how people even do that it's amazing yeah. And that's uh, what I like about on. YouTube, is that it, it gives uh, so much discovery of all these things. You know, when we were watching TV, obviously, like I was watching Food Channel and all that, but it, it's still the same programming after a while. But with YouTube, you know, it expands it so much. You know, there's so many channels doing food or, you know, so many channels doing crafts or, and so on. So it's always something new. You know, it it doesn't get redundant because you can always find channels that does something differently. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, do uh, you guys still watch TV, or are you, have you switched completely? We to we do watch TV, but we all were. I say we because I was watching the live stream, but we all were. You guys were talking about how long you hadn't had TV because I mean you just don't have time to watch it. There's mm -hmm. so much more interesting stuff on the internet you know that you can and you can pretty much get what you want with netflix or hulu and and there's just nothing really so i told abby yesterday right after she got done watching gray's anatomy mm, that we might, show. we might be getting rid of tv and just keeping internet so i had no fusses so we'll see how that goes yeah, we got rid of uh, ours too. And I think at first I missed it because of these channels that I used to watch, like, you know, the specialty channels, the food channel and discovery. But, after, and I did miss it at first. But then after a while, I, I realized how much more is there. And the TV shows you can still watch online. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so the Grey's Anatomy, I haven't got into that. I actually, I, I think I should do the binge watching yes it is so good i started watching it my freshman year and i'm only a sophomore i started watching it like right around christmas time and i probably watched all 11 seasons on on <laughs> netflix within like till february i like pushed it all into about two or three months that's how much i love it is it uh, is it the last season now uh i don't know yet because they haven't signed a contract on it on season 15 yet but they're on season 14 and it's still airing on tv so. you can't oh, okay. you can't say last season it'll make her cry i know oh, <laughs> it's okay it's okay my favorite uh, i always like the all the me medical uh stuff tv shows and my favorite was uh house have you ever ever seen that uh yeah I th i've heard yeah is that the one based in chicago uh, no, that's ER, uh, but the, the house is, uh, maybe it was based in Chicago too, I don't know, but that's an amazing show. It's a bit different than the regular like Chicago and uh, uh, Hope and ER, but after that, I couldn't find anything just good enough for that, so uh, yeah. but I think I can give uh, Grey's Anatomy a try because everybody's talking about it and I feel left out. You definitely <laughs> should, and don't look up any spoilers because you will hate yourself because I did because I couldn't <laughs> help it because I heard rumors and I did and then I got to the episode where this certain thing happened and I couldn't stop crying. It was that bad. Oh, I'll so definitely get a binge watch. Love doing that. <laughs> so, so this is the part of the show where Andrew usually gets up and walks off and says, you guys go ahead. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a uh, question for you, Abby, do you, uh, have you thought of doing your own channel? Like lots of young people nowadays seem to have yeah, their own. Um, I have a best friend. Like I found my actual best friend for like the rest of my life. Her name's Brianna. Um, 
me and her, like, we do everything together. I share everything with her. She knows every single thing about me. I know everything about her. We've all, we, we have a lot of things like in common, but we're complete opposite people. And a lot of times I feel like friends aren't like that. A lot of friends, like best friends are a lot of like each other. They, they, they do all the types of thing, things they wear the same type of things. So we honestly thought about starting up our own YouTube channel because we have a lot of inside jokes that are so funny. Like, and even to other people that don't know what it means, they still think it's funny. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I'm kind of like just boasting about it, but um, oh, it's, we it's actually good. have yeah. thought about starting on YouTube channel because whenever I go off to college, she's planning on going with me where I go and wherever I go. We're, so we're going to like move in together. We like, we have it all planned out. So I, I hear that. that. I, think, <laughs> I really honestly think that we might actually start a YouTube channel. We've actually thought about it. We actually made a YouTube uh, video. We didn't make an account, but we made a YouTube video and we were all set on making an account and everything. And we never did because she moved away about an hour and a half away. So I don't oh. see her that often anymore, but we're still connected all the time. So I don't know, maybe be on the lookout. <laughs> if that's yeah, definitely. Going, then I'm sure he'll say something about it on there. <laughs> well yeah definitely give a shout if you do uh for sure sounds like it's gonna be lots of yeah. fun me and her uh, we do a lot of uh musical stuff like she is a really great singer and i like singing with her so we do a lot of like uh collab i guess collabs together we yeah, take they, videos they are really good singers. of us singing Ooh. songs together and it's just, i feel like our voices just blend so well together that we might just start up a singing youtube channel i don't know could <laughs> yeah, be anything cool. That's yeah. really cool. So you have planned everything uh, for the next 10 years with your uh, girlfriend. What about college? Do you know what you want to be studying? <laughs> uh, yeah. I've actually thought about um, going to college locally, but then I've also, I've gotten a lot of emails from this college in Evansville. It's about two hours south of where we live. Um, mm. It's a private school, but they have emailed me because they want me to come and visit their campus. And I want to go into something medical. I always have. I've always wanted to do something with kids and children. And so they have just started up a new medical program that is like top list, five star, and into PD in pediatrics. And it's like only about 100 students get into it. So we're all close together. We all take classes. It's a pre-medical college. So I'm honestly thinking about that, going down there and going to college and getting my undergraduates in a pre-medical school. Oh, that's cool. So you would like to be a, a doctor for kids, a pediatrics uh, department more? Yes, that's what cool. I want to do. Oh, well, that's amazing. That's, that's yeah. really cool to hear. I'm really excited. At I'm least happy. at least you don't want to be a clinical psychologist, right? <laughs> oh, very funny. I don't do it. <laughs> that's what she is. Oh, OK. okay. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> No, I think I think it's uh, so much harder. Uh, I I don't know if I would be able to do it just to get over the um, the part of when you know when they are in pain or hurt. It's already hard enough when my little ones are hurt. I don't know if I would be able to get through. Uh, you know, right. And but I feel like being able to help help a little kid and help them get better is the gonna be the best part about it. And that'll make me even feel even more like good that they are feeling better and like that little kids are feeling better because there's around our town like we have a really good town but there is some kids that get mistreated by their parents and like stuff happens to where they get sick and nobody is there to help them and I want to be that person and mm -hmm. I don't know I just feel I have a really outgoing personality and I always am willing to help someone that isn't help that is, that needs help I've talked to my dad about this before because it's been an issue between some of my friends but it's all good now. Um, so I just want to be that person to help other people because for me, that builds my self-esteem and what I'm able to do for myself and other people around me. So that's basically how I want to do it and what I want to do. That's amazing. You have brought her up really well. It was a very smart girl you have. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's great. Uh, well, guys, uh, um, what is it the future of you as a family and as a channel? Well, it's as a family, it's kind of scary because I had some milestones past this last the last two months milestones as far as my life. And that was that my son got his driver's license, bought a car and started driving in the very 
all in the same week. Oh. And so so here I am at the license branch uh, with him getting his license. And then we're going to buy a car. And then all of a sudden, uh, I was I was here one morning. I didn't go to work. And he, he got in his car and left for school the first time he ever got to drive to school. That was two months ago. And so he drives out of the driveway. It's early in the morning. I'm standing there with my coffee. And all of a sudden, it all hits me all at once. And these big tears come in my eyes, and I'm thinking, what has happened? It went so fast. <laughs> and so I'm sure that, you know, when you get your license in October. Yep. In October, so same thing with her. It'll be all over. Here we go. And then 10 years down the road, it'll be Blair. So, yeah. So, yeah, I had some milestones. Those milestones came to pass in the last two months, and here I am. It's went so fast, I haven't even realized that it's gone. And now I'm looking back going, why didn't I pay more attention? Why didn't I stop and take those moments in? You know, he got his license. He he bought his own car. You know, why didn't I take that in? And and then I look back and think, well, maybe I did take it in all that I could at the time because it went so fast. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, it sounds like you did. It sounds you caught the moment, though. <laughs> Yes, definitely. I felt like a big baby standing on the front porch, crying in my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard. It is hard to let them go. And imagine when, uh, you know, they are going to college. Uh, it's going to be quite a different step for you, too. Yeah. And my, my son wants to join the Navy. And he's talked about that for two years now. So I'm pretty oh. sure that's what he's got his mindset on. So it'll be like out of high school graduation and then he's gone to the navy so i know that's going to happen really fast as well which i just uh -huh. i don't i try not to think about it <laughs> oh yeah but then you'll have blair still that is going to be there on and around you yes and then i get to bug her for 10 more years <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh. Oh, baby, dear. it's so sweet though but i so get it every time they get their milestones it seems like the time goes faster and faster it's like oh yes, my god does. Do that <laughs> and the older you get the faster it goes and you know i always heard my parents say that but as a young person i never you know it never sunk in and then you know the older i get i'm thinking wow they were so right that is crazy yeah <laughs> that's true that's and true. i love it because there's been uh, times to where the, I've told the kids, no, they've asked me a question and the kids, have, I've told them, no, you know, no, you can't. Well, why can't you? Well, because I'm dad. That's why you can't. I love using that line. My mom and dad used that line on me. So now I get to use it on them. <laughs> <laughs> we always take from our parents what we thought as kids. It's like, I'm not going to do like that. But then when we grow up, then we yep. use the same things anyway. <laughs> Because I, I'm dead. Great. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet, and it really sounds like you're a really knit together family. Well, we we sure do love each other, <laughs> and hate each other at times. Yes, and hate each other. And but the thing about it is, my my kids, my family. I would rather go do something with all of them than anyone else in the world. I mean, and that's. I'm thankful that it's like that because I see a lot of families that's not. I mean, Are you there's there? some that there's some that don't even have anything to do with their dad or their mom. There's some that don't have anything to do with their brother or sister or haven't talked to them in years. And I, my family was never like that growing up. We had cookouts every weekend and mm -hmm. the whole family came over. I mean, and everybody, if we did anything, we wanted to do it as a family. And that's, you know, I haven't intentionally set out to do that with my own children, but it's just happened because that's the way I want it. That's the way it's best. Yes. And it sounds like that's the way it's best for you guys. It's, it sounds like you did a great job with them. <laughs> well, as long as she keeps doing what I tell her to do, everything will be okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. no it's great it sounds like you have each other's back uh, all of you guys and, and and that's so amazing about families i always repeat to my kids the smaller ones especially that you know 
after the parents are gone, especially with siblings, they are you are the ones that have each other's back, you know, no matter what That's friends right. you have, family is always family. Uh, it, it, it's great to have that, even with all the sometimes hating stuff. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's funny because um, one day last week, Abby came home from school and she told me, she said, Dad, I don't know what's what's wrong with my brother, but he's just being mean to me today. He's being hateful. He won't talk to me. And when he does, he's real short and, and aggravating. Well, you know, that kind of went. I said, well, just ignore it. He's a teenage boy, you know, he's moody. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't an hour later that there was something had happened. No, you were going on a date with oh. that boy. Yeah. And so I told Garrett, her brother, I said, uh, Abby's fixing to leave to go on a date and he looked at me and he goes I'll kill him <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's like you know he, he didn't like her all evening he didn't want nothing to do with her he wanted her to stay out of his room and leave him alone but when it come time for you know when push come to shove or she was going out on a date with a boy he's like all protective you know <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. right that's right well, that's that's the great thing about it, exactly, uh, and and I love it. I love to see it in you guys, and and I'm sure you know with with the same with uh, your other kids. I can see uh, your all of your family through you two uh, uh, talking about um, your family. That's amazing. Uh, that, that's thank you for sharing it. And I see in the in the chat two people were saying how amazing dad you are and what a smart girl you are. <laughs> Aww. So, uh, <laughs> well let's just hope it don't go to her head <laughs> i'm just not live again that boy no names that boy that boy yeah <laughs> panicked <laughs> um and uh what about your channel i do you have a certain um like plans where you're going with it or uh, is it that you're going to be keeping documenting with the makeup channel and uh, uh you know and the cooking <laughs> thing or or is it something uh that you have in mind where you're going to go be going with your i have i have i really have no idea at all uh, i started as an outdoor channel because that's what we do most most of our stuff you know we're out in the woods looking for mushrooms in the fall we'll be digging ginseng root uh, we fish during the summer uh, and in the winter time we have Christmas parades and snow and and so there's we love doing stuff outside we love playing outside being outside and I I'm telling you I there's nothing worse than cabin fever I have mm -hmm. to get outside and do something and so you know my intention I haven't really thought of a long-term goal but my intention is just you know if we're gonna go do something fun or we're gonna go do something interesting or I I have a great idea or you have a great idea like cooking or me putting your makeup on that we could document that and just put it down and people could watch and laugh and because I'm sure we'll get a kick out of it. Yes. <laughs> and laugh and have a good time. But as far as uh, the channel, I, I, I sat down a little over a year ago and started playing with a video editor mm -hmm. on a, a tablet I had. It was a cheap tablet. It was an old tablet. Didn't have much memory. Started playing with a video editor. Started making these videos, and I started. I fell in love with it. I fell in love with editing videos. And then I go around and look at, especially outdoor channels. There's some homestead channels. Yeah. Um, oh, there's there's one that's one of my favorite. Uh, the Arms Family Homestead out of Oklahoma. Great people. Sweet people. They have a gorgeous channel and they're always very interesting so i watch what they do i've seen the way they cut their videos and then i i come back to my editor and try to do that and try to make that same you know replicate what they did mm -hmm. as far as the views and the where you put the b-roll and where you put the intros and you know how you how you do things and then of course i started uh -oh. feeling like let me get some light here. I started feeling like, hey, I like this. I like putting it together. And I really fell in love with editing. And so now, like, for instance, last Saturday, I went fishing. And I have about four hours of footage. And so 
I've already sat down and spent about two hours going through and picking out, you know, certain clips that I want. So there's two hours and I haven't even got started on it yet, other than just picking out clips that I want to put in it. But, you know, sometimes I have to walk away and get something to drink or go outside and get some air and come back. But I love editing. And there's nothing funner than editing stuff you do with your kids or funny stuff or so I, I love it. I love every aspect of it. He does it really well because uh, the computer's in my room. So I'll be laying on my bed, like hanging out on my phone or doing homework or something like that. And my dad's like, Abby, come over here and look at this. And I kind of ignore him. And he's like, Abby, look, Abby, look. And he just bothers me and bothers me about it until finally I come over here. And he's like, look how cool this is. Look what I'm <laughs> editing. Like, this is so cool. Look how I did this. I put this caption here. I put this in slow-mo. And I'm just like, okay, Dad, I'll see it later on YouTube. It's fine. Enough already. <laughs> but he does really good at it, yeah. Oh, but you're I've, it. I've, and... also, I've also gotten feedback off of her and uh, my son. And they said, Dad, you know, let's let's don't do this here. Let's try something different. And they, they both given me feedback on things I could do to even be better with the uh, editing. Well, that, that's great. Uh, you know, it's great also to hear that you are getting inspired by other channels as well, which is also, I think one part of a good part of YouTube is that, uh, you know, you can learn so much from other people editing and doing things for, from smaller and from bigger uh, YouTubers. So, that that's really cool, and you're edi I love your editing. You you just well, picked up it last year. Well, thank you, thank you. That's really cool, though. Yeah, yeah. Because I was gonna ask if you have any like background in it, or how did you even get into that? But that's amazing, though. I have none. I have no background in editing. I just watch and then go try to do it. That's that's really cool, though. Uh, and I I like I uh you know the the doing the family. Uh, channel is so cool because it's um, you know to leave the kind of the the video it's almost like a home videos but for for kids to watch afterwards you know like right. I sometimes wonder like if YouTube still exists in 20 30 40 years of time uh, if they would be able to watch the videos with us you know afterwards when we are gone and they can watch it and we, we didn't have or we don't have that uh, ability with our parents uh, but they will have it, you know. And right. And, you know, it. nowadays you can edit out the parts where it's like, stop doing that, quit, or the kids are acting <laughs> crazy. You know, you can edit all that out and put it together to where you look like the Brady Bunch kind of family, you know. <laughs> where it's like, wow, they're perfect. <laughs> when, you know, everybody knows we're really not. Nobody's perfect, but... But yeah, we can edit out all those little things now. <laughs> well, maybe you should leave them on just for fun. <laughs> well, well, maybe I could just save them and then put them in one big bloopers video sometime. You know? Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Well, um, no, no. No way. Okay, honey, uh, go to bed. I'm going to come in five minutes. <laughs> no. Okay. Somebody is really not want to go to bed here. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, well, uh, <coughs> sorry. Thank you so much for coming and for being guests uh, on on our channel. Sorry again, it's just me today. Uh, me and my kids are gonna come to say hi to. Yeah, well, if you're here, might as well come say hi. Coffee, little <laughs> Everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. That's the middle one. <laughs> and this is a smaller one. <laughs> oh, this one is he's, he's, he's on <laughs> he just came for supper and then he went away again. Yes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you so much for, for talking about your family. Like uh, in the chat, Panic D was saying that uh, it's so amazing to hear you talk about your family and be a great example more people should actually see that you know oh, well that's great that's great it's it, it's people can learn more by example so to speak they were saying so right you know uh, we'll I mean, try to share more of your videos if there's anything more uh new that's coming up that tweet at us now you are on twitter <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> thank you I told, abby. actually abby came home today and i had my twitter open because i mean you had just sent me a message and Abby goes, 
you're on Twitter? What? <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't believe I was on Twitter. I was like, yeah, old guy on Twitter. What do you know? <laughs> exactly. So if you have any new video, uh, tweet at us and, and we'll check it out and shout out. And Alrighty. let you know as well. And uh, thank you very much for being guests once again. Makes, please make sure you tell Andrew hello for us. Oh, and I he's probably definitely gonna watch it afterwards too so you'll he you'll see him over uh commenting on your videos for sure okay thank you bye bye thank you guys bye <laughs> well that was amazing that was our hosier family uh father and daughter tonight um two out of four Audrey, I'm still on. <laughs> and I'm on here today, just me. I, if you're wondering, Andrew is just out on family emergency, as we always say, a life first. Yeah, so uh, I stayed uh, here with you guys today and uh, with the kitties around. The, are you going to come and end the show? No. Well, in a little bit, honey. You gotta go to bed. And I will have to go and put my kitties to bed. No, I love what's over there. <laughs> uh, so thank you very much for tuning in tonight. Oh yes, the certificate on the wall. For those of you who don't know, uh, this uh, is our official. Um, Porsche Studios is a certified member of Parapeeps, issued by Panic D Videos channel that was a guest on our stream uh, just uh, last week. Um, and uh, now we are official hashtag Parapeeps. So we are very proud of that. And if you would like to be a Parapeep as well, you got to go over to Panic D channel and check out the rules how to become one. And maybe even win a prize. With this, you can actually take part in their contest. So that's what I'm hoping to be the next. <laughs> um, hold it closer to the camera. Okay, just a second here. Oh, see, I, I, I tacked it on. Okay, so now this is a certificate that you get personalized and customized with your channel's name on it. And with this, you also get a chance to participate in Panic D's contests uh, uh, that they have, I think, every week now on their live streams uh, on Saturdays. Uh, if you Panic D can remind me what time is your, is your uh, live stream this Saturday, we can shout it out. And if you are not a Parapeep yet, go over to their uh, channel, check out their video, how to become one, and uh, maybe even win something. Ball caps, are you going to be a Parapeep? I am, I'm hoping to win that ticket from last week. Last week uh, on their live stream, they were uh, announcing the contest for winning. Now I can't put it back now. Uh, announcing a contest to win a ticket from the World Fair, uh, the return ticket. Uh, I, I would really love that. So, but we'll see if the luck stands on my side. Yes, so it's live at 5 p.m. Eastern on Saturday is on Panic D videos. And I know that at 6 p.m. Eastern uh, is ATJH Travels are going to be going live as well. Rosy Cheeks, yes. I think somebody ate too many cookies, probably. Well, mommy is not here and nobody's looking. Uh, Why do you have rosy cheeks? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this one is going to be a little actress when she grows up. Audrey? Uh, Audrey? Uh, Audrey? Tell me, who are you going to be when you grow uh, up? Okay. Um, tell me... Do you like Moana or Frozen? Ah! Or... Well, if you're not going to answer, then you can't be on live stream. People are not going to enjoy you just sleeping there. Or are you going to pretend you're sleeping? 
Audrey. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with me to, today. Uh, tomorrow, by the way, uh, there's going to be just me again, but not because Andrew is not, he, not here, but because tomorrow is my special edition of hashtags millions missing. I'm going to be do, uh, doing a special live stream tomorrow. Let me open uh, and I will tell you all about it. Um, dedicated to hashtag millions missing, raising awareness about invisible illnesses, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, chronic pain syndrome, uh, and uh, with support of uh, um, National Fibromyalgia Association and National Invisible Illnesses Association uh, that has provided me uh, gracefully with uh, some of their research results and um, some of their materials. Uh, as well as some help from Montreal uh, Pain Clinic uh, psychologist um, and her suggestions. Uh, I will be talking about my experience and talking with chat about that, as well as I'm going to be having two amazing guests. Uh, one of them is Stephanie Conroy. Uh, she's an autism mom blogger um, and that has a channel on YouTube as well, but she's mostly uh, on Twitter. She's a, a Twitter influencer and uh, she has lupus. Uh, this is a chronic invisible illness herself as well as is taking care of her mother who uh, has lupus as well. And um, that's going to be exciting to have her on and talk about her experience. And then I also am going to have uh, London Moore uh, or the Chronic Mermaid on Instagram. She doesn't have a YouTube channel. Um, but she's all in around Instagram, um, figuring out how to be ill in style. Uh, a stylish uh, young lady uh, talking uh, about her uh, ordeal with changing diagnosis, um, because she, right now she's right between the chronic fatigue syndrome diagnosis and uh, chronic um, inflammation syndrome diagnosis, which is something completely different. And she's going to be talking about that tomorrow. So uh, two amazing girls, we're going to be talking about that and interacting with the chat as well. So if you have anybody who is uh, suffering from chronic illnesses uh, or if you suffer from them yourself, uh, come and join us, uh, join the chat um, and we'll try to support each other and share experiences. Uh, so I think uh, that's all for tonight. Is it that's all for tonight? No? You want to stay on the live and just sleep on it? You're so funny. Oh, no, you were picking your nose. No way. On live stream. <laughs> not, not good. And I was reading my information while you were doing that. No. I can't pick your nose. It's mini Andrew. Yes, I know. That's what everybody's saying. When um, one year we went uh, uh, to the family reunion, and I I didn't really know anybody too too much, but they have seen Andrew as a child, uh, and they right away could could say that we are Andrew's family. Even they didn't know us. Nobody Ooh. told them that. And they right away could tell us that we are Andrew's family just by looking at her. She was just a couple of years old, so. I always love that the only thing that she has for me is that she's a girl. That's wow. everything. Everything else is Andrew. And now my other one is bugging his sister, not helping me at all. <laughs> yeah, everybody picks their nose, right? Just not on the live stream. <laughs> now. Now, this is forever and eternal that you are picking your nose. So when you are 35, or no, even worse, when you're 16 or, and going out on your dating game, we're going to show your boyfriend how you're picking your nose. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, okay, guys, I hope that you guys can uh, come in tomorrow and support us. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be tweeting out some information about that as well. And hashtag millions missing. So check that out. Uh, and Mond 
now, guys. Can I finish? And uh, Monday, uh, we're going to have a guest, Arte Mortifica, Mr. Music, Mr. Photography. That's going to be amazing. And I also might be having a co-host. Monday. So you got to stick around and see every night at 8 p.m. Eastern. If you can't remember which days we're on, we're on every day from Monday to Saturday. So every day except for Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, we're always here, usually with amazing guests that join us uh, tomorrow with a special edition, hashtag millions missing. Uh, so come back and see us. And hopefully tomorrow we're going to be in a better mood. <laughs> Are you going to sing a lullaby? No. Just follow me. Yeah, and now I have to go to hashtag life first and deal with these two little ones. Mm. <laughs> I want to watch a family guy. Yeah, she must have read the comments. Exactly. Good night. Say good night. Are you going to blow kisses? Can we, let's blow both kisses. Do we want to 